Kyle Swindle, the captain of Complexity. You guys are turning some heads the first couple days. Um, two Onavi today. Uh, that proves a uh, North American qualifier stronger than European, yeah, right? I think it's pretty much just undebatable. At this yeah, one hundred percent conclusive mm -hmm. evidence. Uh, so, what's how you doing it? Um, we're just working really hard. Um, yesterday, we spent like two or three hours just going over game plans. We were pretty confident against Navi, in all honesty. The Chinese we seem to have trouble with because um, I don't know how to explain it. The Chinese sort of just draft a style. And you can't really beat them in the draft. It's it's really hard to explain. But Navi, we had like a really good plan. Game two, for example, we were we were gonna do that. We were giving them gyro. We knew they would take gyro because that's like Havost's trademark hero. Mm -hmm. It's like I think he played it like 17 times, and the next highest play rate on a carry was four times over the past like couple months. And we just had a pretty much a draft in mind and got it and won. So. Uh, people s seem to say that complexity, uh, you guys, your guys strength is your, you know, your team player calls your draft. Um, what, uh, what changed since, you know, the start? Because I remember when you guys started, things weren't going that great, you know, and now it's a pretty good time to, you know, peak as it is. For sure. Um, I mean, we actually, we did, I thought we did better than expected, like when we first started playing Dota, like mm -hmm. this is my, I started playing Dota last July, watching this event, and in like September, October, three or four months into Dota, we were actually like, I think we were like ranked 19th at one point, and that's, you know, that's not amazing, but we were taking games off of teams like Four Anchors, with BDG, with, you know, LMFA, who cares, XD, it was actually that, because we won a useless Dota buff, or Dota pit group stage, Lost the Summit qualifiers 03, and then just all downhill. Riser uh, quit the team because he hurt his back. We had four players then. Limp uh, Moon ended up quitting because he just couldn't handle it anymore. Limp ended up quitting, and we've been trying out this guy Minots who played for Burden, and he was gone. And in February, it was me and Zach. So we were terrible because we were trying out just the bottom of the barrel in NA Dota, just like reaching our hand in and hoping we would get some gold. And, Ziz was the one guy that was like really good, good enough, he had the right attitude, and then Tal got suckered into joining, and then Moon came back, we were like, we needed somebody, like we were playing with this, um, playing with these guys like Big Bad Bird, Squee, Zizu, and their names nobody knows, and it's nothing against you guys, but they just, they didn't really have the, I don't know how to explain it, you have to see the game the right way, fast enough. You have to be able to notice, okay, this guy ported, go for the, like, someone TP, let's kill this guy. And it has to be within like a second. You have to have the, the right mind frame to be a Dota player, work hard enough, etc. And Moon was just like the guy, he was just so much better than anybody we tried out. And I think he was like a, really the glue that just sort of put everything in motion, or together. And uh, he's a uh, he's very, uh, he's an interesting guy, he's very enthusiastic. I interviewed him, he uh, mm -hmm. did the Shia speech in the middle of the interview. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yeah, um, you guys seem to have pretty pretty good team synergy. You guys have been living in a house together for a while. Um, what's it like uh, leading the guys? They all listen to you? Yeah, it's really weird to be honest. Like, yeah? I um, really wasn't a good leader for like the month um, before this event. I honestly, like, after we won the qualifiers, like it was always the that was like what I was working for, you know? And that's what kept me going in February when I had two players on my team and we were terrible. And like, what the hell am I gonna do? Cause I just try people out and they're bad and they're, it was just a really stressful time. And then when we won the qualifiers, you know, that wasn't really the end. It was just the beginning. Cause then we have to come here. And it was just really, I in essence had to just sort of man up and not be such a bitch. And then <laughs> okay. luckily I figured that out in time for this event. We had a, a bunch of like big conversations together as a team, and then, you know, now we're here and morale's good, energy's high. We just gotta sort of keep it going. And uh, wh what do you guys do for motivation? Is it just a lot of you do a lot of speeches? You do a lot of uh, motivational sometimes. speeches. Yeah. Uh, do you I, shy at you yourself? Uh, not. I just I'm just I get really loud when I'm hyper. Uh -huh. I get like really hyped. It's something I've always like been for my teams is just sort of the energy guy, mm -hmm. and you just kind of. We, we don't have a chant, which I've been trying to work on. We had a really good one in Han, where I'd say, stay what? And the guys would yell, stay green. And we would do that, and just, we'd, by the end, we'd just be like yelling. But it's really good to just sort of um, 
it's it's been on the internet. There's like a, a chart where it's like I think it's called like a arou peak arousal level. So it goes like this. You want to be here where you're like energized and focused. You don't want to be anxious and you don't want to be lax. You want to just be hyped and relaxed like the same time. And mm -hmm. it's just a good way to put yourself in that mindset immediately. Okay. Um, you got you have a history in Han. Um, you know PPD also. Uh, all right, we've all seen the uh, <laughs> basketball video. Um, what is it about the Han captains? You guys seem to be doing quite well now. Um, I think we just work harder than other players. I really like. There's really no secret in my opinion. Um, team uh, team secrets are really the only exception. But I think that they're they're so good. Like they already know the things that I learn. You know, Puppy, Kuro, all those guys. They've been playing for years and years and I just don't know things and will lose games because I don't see something coming. They'll always be ready. Oh, they, you know, Broodmother just wins the game. They'll never get Broodmothered. You're not gonna just get one past them, you know? And it happens to us. Like, personally, I think we're, what, five and three thus far at the event? I think all three of those Yeah, losses... but you, got, you guys have two, uh, two, two O's, which is yeah. the important part of it, right? I would agree. Um, but it's just the three losses, like, were all on me. I just felt like we got outdrafted. And, like, we looked terrible against LGD, but, I mean, we scrimmed them, actually, a couple days before the event, and we did very well. Like, we were like, we can beat these guys. They're, they're not, they weren't that much better than us. Like, there's, I didn't chains Gyro at top rune the first game. I ended up dying, then I died again. They take towers, you lose. Because the Chinese, at that point, they're just, they're five. You're, they're not going to let you get back into the game if you have no towers taken, and they have three of yours. Mm -hmm. You just lost. It's just really frustrating to. So you, you, like you talk about you know the guys that have a lot of experience in Dota. And you're you're kind of new. Um, you gonna get there? Is it what's the what's the long term plan? Are you you looking two three years down the line? Or are you gonna be one man. of those guys? I'm a Dota player, man. This is what I want to do. There's nothing else. I um, had like a little soul searching in between Han because I was gonna quit gaming after Han. Okay. I accomplished all the goals. Right, we won the fifth land. We. I won the money I needed, I went on my vacation, and I had accomplished like the goal we set, which was to win five, because Fnatic got four. So now I can say we were the best Han team ever, and if you say it differently, you just count the rings. Like, it's the easiest <laughs> argument you can make. You're like, like the Kobe argument, I got <laughs> it, okay. Um, <laughs> although, I do, eh, not getting there. Um, <laughs> Russell's not the greatest of all time, just because he won nine, but that's a whole other point. Um, and I just realized that, you know, I'm a, I was a 22-year-old kid with no formal education, and no actual like real world experience outside of like a job I did in sales when I was 18. And if the person interviewing you at Buffalo Wild Wings is like looking down on you in a sense, not just like giving you the job, it just it just really messes with you. And I um. So you wanted you wanted some real world legitimacy. Yeah, I wanted to like go. Oh, come on. I, I had this naive idea I could just like walk into a bar and like charm the interviewer and just. You know, hey, yeah, go, you know, you work tomorrow, like, you know, bartend, because I, I That's love... not how it works these days. No, man. it doesn't. It really doesn't. Well, I thought... you, got, you got millions of people <sighs> wanting your job. That's what it is right now. Yeah. I mean, I, oh. I lost track of why I loved gaming so much, because I didn't travel as much, because uh -huh. the Hanlands were never really there. There was like a year-long interlude, because we didn't yeah. go to DreamHack. Um, well, I mean, if you want to be reminded about how good live events is, this is this yeah, is a nice this, one to be your first one because the conditions they provide here are pretty much unparalleled. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. this is to me, this is why you get into gaming. It's not anything to do with the money, although I'm sure you know that's nice. It's 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 really fun to just play at the highest level of competition. You know, like it's cool. Like we, you can make any arguments you want, right? But when you beat a team two zero, there's what what um what can fans of the team that lost make? What what can you say? Oh, they weren't trying, or they threw. Well, like, I saw the penance. It was forty-six thousand Navi penance uh -huh. and uh, five hundred complexity penance. So oh. you made a lot of people unhappy with that. Uh, with that. <laughs> yeah, result. I can imagine. I think what were our odds on Dota Lounge? I wish it we was... were allowed to bet because man, <laughs> we'd have cleaned up. You could bet on yourself. That's yeah. that's probably the the least terrible form of yeah. betting. Is betting that's on why yourself. Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. I oh mean, yeah. Okay. Although yeah, let's go there. That's uh. Well, uh, well, I, I'm going to preface that he's joking. But, uh, yeah. No, Pete Rose should definitely be in the Hall of Fame. You should be able to bet on yourself. I actually made that argument. I was like, why can't we just bet on ourselves? Like, yes. if then they'll, you'll be extra scrutinized, and they'll make sure. I think you're the argument is that uh, sometimes then when you're not betting on yourself, you're revealing information, right? I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I like, there's a lot of com complications with that. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna even get into it, but you know, I, 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 maybe the lifelong ban was a little much, but you know, I. I kind of agree that they they gotta take that stuff seriously because I mean look at 
some of the other games, like how terrible it's been when that stuff has happened. But, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> getting back to the actual uh, situation here, you know, like this, this group stage, it's important because you want top two. That's obviously your goal. Um, well, I'd say top four. Well, top, top two, two in the group, great. yeah, in the group. No, top four in the group. Yeah, that's what I mean, like there's, yeah. I'm confused. Okay, well, uh, more specifically, what's, who do you see in your group um, as, you know, someone that's your target, you know, who's the... Um, we went into this thinking Secret, C9, and LGD are the best teams in the uh -huh. group, and we wanted to be one of the four. So that was why, like, we really needed to 2 0 Navi to have any chance of advancing. We weren't, a 1 1 means we would have had to take probably an extra one, at, may, at least one, maybe two games off of either C9 or Secret. And that's just difficult. Like, we have uh, just Secret to prepare for tomorrow, but we just, we, they're better than we are. So we're going to need to just play good. I don't mean that as an, oh, they'll beat us for sure, but we're going to need to play. Like, they're here most of the time. We're here most of the time. We can be here, but we have to play good, and I have to draft well. I think well was the right word. And I can't get, I just, I don't know. I, I'm really You don't upset. see yourself, like, completely out-drafting secret. You, you got to no, like, it's, it's hard. Like, I really, like, I work really hard. I just, they're just good. And they, yeah. like, they know what I'm gonna do. You're gonna I feel. Get, you guys, you guys pick techies against Chinese, Tusk techies, um, oh, and it worked out. We we had scrimmed certain Chinese teams. We I think we, uh, well I might I don't want to reveal too much. Yeah, you don't have to say. On, but fine. Chinese not very. They don't like techies very much. Yeah. They carry like, and it makes sense because so you've got like players like Burning and Silar. They've been playing Dota for like <coughs> ten years. The and legends. Like, yeah. And then all of a sudden there's this new thing in their lane. They don't realize like, wait, I'm dead. Like I can't I can't be here. Yeah. I can't just play anti mage. Like yeah. it doesn't work. But I, I personally think techies should have been auto banned from the tournament. But yeah. if it's gonna be in the game, we're it is gonna, pretty we're fun for spectators. Game. Maybe not for no, the people it's playing not. against it's it. It is so not they fun. like it. They like it. No you should have seen the hype when he got picked. Well, the spectators like it, man. It's because it was like the first time. Trust yeah. me, no one's gonna want to see techies like main stage. It's just maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Dude, trust me. There, the it's... the uh, Frankfurt ESL. You watched Frankfurt final, the ESL mm -hmm. Frankfurt. Of course. Man. The crowd was completely just going nuts over the techies pick. Hey, I again. It was the first one. We're gonna, we're gonna. You, you guys gonna save it for the Chinese players teams again? They're just gonna first ban them. They're gonna be like possibly. No way. I don't know. There's other we things you can do with, with it. I honestly don't know. It was like that game was just perfect for techies. Like they had nothing to deal with it. And Zach's like a huge dork with that hero. Like it was the same. In <laughs> Zach's playing really well. Like really, really well. I felt like on my performance, both games against Navi was pretty bad. Both games against Dai Chi was pretty bad. I just. It, we have a really specific style that we work well with, and yeah. I, don't know, I just hate losing drafts. I'm still salty about it. Like I hate just losing games because it makes us all look bad, and it's not even like you get to learn from it. It's like, well, we had this, they had this, so we lost. I mean, mean, like I watched um, those LGD games, and some <laughs> some of those that, some of those games, the DK game was pretty brutal. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that how do you bounce us? back from that? Um. I mean, it's TI. You kind of just do. You have to, right? Like the, yes. you, um, we have a saying. You know, you either win or you learn. So we try to learn and then hopefully win. I mean, group stage is kind of irrelevant as is. I mean, at best, you get a round. You have a ra you're a round up. That's it. So theoretically, it doesn't really matter how you place. We just much rather avoid the VO one. And I, we do a lot better with preparation. Something I think, um, EG as well. We just. Because we don't have that experience to just sort of go, oh, we'll just draft and mm -hmm. we'll win. We, we kind of want to say, okay, then we're going to give them this, we'll take this, and then we're going to go either here, here, or here with it. Yeah. And so you want to know your opponent and you have three days. Yeah, I want to be a three yeah. on stage against a team that's better than I am. And they think they're better than we are, and we go in and just. Well, you're going to have a lot of time to prepare for that because there's, there's an extended break. Yeah, between very extended. Stage, so. Okay, so you're grinding hard for that. Um, do you have any, any last words? Um, not really. No. Um, shout out to the family. I'm sure all you guys will be watching this. Thanks for the constant texts that you're rooting for us. I appreciate it. Um, yes. Grandma, if you see this, I'm really sorry I didn't call you back. <laughs> I will, okay. eventually. And uh, You have a call out? Call out? Yeah. Like a player or something? Anyone. Nothing. I mean, well, shout out to the people who continue to believe we don't belong here, I guess. Okay. Thanks.
Um, You're thanking them for the motivation, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Condolences on your rares. <laughs> um, okay. And shout out to Complexity for you know putting us up, sponsoring us, and then uh, all these guys: Cheap Two A, Sound Blaster, Twitch, Power Color, Cooler. Whoops. Power Color. Hmm. We might be missing an O on these. I'm not sure. You okay. can edit that out. Sure. All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, and thanks a lot, Ken. Appreciate yeah, it. It was fun. And uh, good luck. Good luck, man. You hope. For any. One of the hopes. One of the hopes. Yeah. One of the only two, actually. Yeah. I have this really strange feeling it's going to be like EG Complexity if we make it to the Finals, point. EG Complexity. Not, okay, How not. exciting would that be? <laughs> that would be great. That, that's the Maybe dream. Like we, we playing for a summit spot or TI Finals? Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, Who man. Knows? Thanks. No worries.